Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. It's my second channel, Daily Blog channel. It's the Daily Woo. And what is the Daily Woo? It's an everyday unedited vlog that I put out onto the interwebs on this wonderful thing called YouTube. And it's very interesting because two days ago, or a day ago, I actually accomplished 20,000 subscribers on this Daily Woo channel, saying it blows my mind. The reason this Daily Woo channel was created was as a secondary, a second channel, daily vlog channel, if you will, to my main channel, the Adam the Woo channel. And that's what we're going to talk about, because this Daily Woo channel was created not only to show you wonderful things, unedited, everyday vlogs, wonderful things, but it was also created to give you a more personal aspect than just the Adam the Woo channel, a more heartfelt, everyday occurrence of what I'm feeling, people I meet, people I want you to meet, people that influence my life, and wonderful feelings that I have on a daily basis that maybe I want to present to you that really cannot be presented in a once a week edited main channel video. So that's why I started the Daily Woo channel. We're not going to talk about the Daily Woo channel though. We're talking about the Adam the Woo channel. Some people might say, why are you talking about your Adam the Woo channel on the Daily Woo channel? Spoiler alert, it's the same guy, me. The Daily Woo, Adam the Woo, the Daily Woo, see what I did there? Is the same person. In fact, you probably heard of or came over to this channel, started off because of the Adam the Woo channel. So, I have a very special announcement that you may have already known. I posted something on Facebook last night when it hit the exact moment I wanted to document it with a screenshot. The Adam the Woo channel, drum roll please, I'm not going to do it. You do the drum roll. Has hit. Drum roll. 100, 100,000 subscribers. What is going on here? 100,000 people have made the conscious effort. I can't add them. I can't go to your YouTube page and add you as a friend. I can't add you. I can't spam your account to try to get you to gain interest in me. 100,000 people have consciously made the decision to follow in my travels and my adventures. This channel you're watching, The Daily Woo, is an everyday vlog, like I was saying. It has not reached that pinnacle. Maybe it will one day. Hopefully it will. But the Adam the Woo channel has reached a plateau. A very awesome plateau, no matter how you break it down. 100,000 subscribers, 100,000 people. If there were 100,000 people out here, you would not see an inch of ground. You would see no grass. All you would see was people. And that absolutely blows my mind. Why am I standing out here? Well, I'm kind of like remembering, reminiscing, if you will, because the very first adventure video, which is the second video on my channel, the first video was kind of a jokey video I did with some friends called the Happy Halloween Bearded Man. I had a big beard then. And the second video was when I started my quota quote on the Adam the Woo channel, my adventure video series, which has turned into abandonments, movie locations, roadside attractions, theme parks, anything I can do that's not inside a house, sitting on a couch, sitting in an office, me out in the world, is an adventure. And people, I guess, obviously, have caught on to this adventure mentality that I have put out there. And it all started right here in my second video, which was the start of my adventuring YouTube career, if you will. And it started, prepare yourself now, shunk -a -gunk -a -gunk -gunk, at the St. Cloud Sugar Mill, which is right there. And there's actually a woman down there with her dog they have been playing catch. The whole time I've been talking, I've been watching in my peripheral vision, this person and their dog playing catch, a frolicking dog having his own adventures. And that dog probably does not realize that right here was where it all began. The Adam the Woo Channel Adventures. I've actually done a couple vlogs reminiscing back here at other pastimes. There's really no sense in me walking up there and showing you that. Plus, it's very sunny 
even though it's very close to Christmas, only a couple days till Christmas, it's very warm here in Florida. It's supposed to be getting a cold front. I know people up north are probably saying, you do not know cold. I know cold. I've traveled all over the U.S., but right now I am not in the cold. I am in the warmth. Well, the warmth is out there. I'm in the shade. So look from afar or just dig up my old video. Me and my buddy Cody trouncing down this road explaining a little bit of the backstory and the history of the St. Cloud Sugar Mill. Gosh, that was probably about four years ago. I had no subscribers. I think about 10 people watched the original video. Basically how it worked was on the Adam the Woo channel, I started filming videos like this, and then I started going up and down Highway 192 in Kissimmee, showing a lot of the abandonments. A lot of them are bulldozed and gone now. So I was documenting a little bit of history, showing some wonderful things. I did the original Hard Rock Cafe at Universal Studios before City Walk in Florida, in Orlando. It's now bulldozed and torn down. I did that video. I got a couple views on that. I remember thinking, I got 100 views. Absolutely amazing that 100 people that I did not know, they were not friends of mine, they were not family, they were not people that I, this is back when MySpace was kind of dying, Facebook was just starting to get popular. These were people that I did not go over to their MySpace page. I did not post the video on, fa on their Facebook wall. I did not go to their MySpace friends page that I was friends with and post it on their wall. These are people who randomly were searching things that they remembered. Hard Rock Cafe, St. Cloud Sugar Mill, River Country at Disney, things like this. I would go around Orlando and I filmed a handful, 20, 30, 40 videos with an old, really cruddy camera that I had, very grainy quality. Not that this is really top notch, but the quality was not that good. And I realized then a lot of people are big fans of, you got to do an HD video. You need to have an HD video camera, the best quality ever. I realized that you could start gaining momentum no matter what you film with. If you have a cell phone, an old school cell phone that films video, you can film something and you can put yourself out there. It's interesting because I've actually heard this from people in my life who've actually said, I don't want to start doing this because I do not have the ability financially to start doing something. Well, if you're an artist, you don't have to have a canvas and really nice paints. You can just take a pencil, a number two pencil and a piece of paper that costs less than a penny and start to draw. So if you have that passion, anyone can do it. Do not ever, let me tell you this, do not ever hinder yourself from doing anything because you do not have the right tools. Anybody, I can fix a car engine. If I twist tight enough with the wrong tool, eventually that bolt will come off and be very difficult, but eventually, you will make that happen. It's like the tortoise and the hare. It's a very famous story about the tortoise and the hare. A lot of people, when it comes to the tortoise and the hare story, a lot of people associate the video thing with that. A lot of people want that hare-like mentality, the speed to the top. They want that viral video. And I kind of disagree with that. I think you just need to put a lot of content out there and eventually your whole channel your entire YouTube presence will become viral. At least that's my opinion. In fact, you see a lot of people who have a viral video. They'll get a video that gets like 5, 6, 10 million views. And if you look at their subscribers and their other content, they have a very handful of subscribers. They have a very small handful of people who are actually interested in their everyday life and their other videos. Their main viral video is the massive video. I'm going to sit down right here. So it's pretty mind-blowing, the fact that 100,000 subscribers has been accomplished. I just want to say thank you. I've kind of been battling in my mind with this whole presence mentality of what has happened. 100,000 subscribers. It's really amazing. When I started doing these videos, no one was watching them. People that I know, friends, people close to me. There were some people that were supportive, but let me tell you, there were some people 
Who did not understand it? Who did not get it? I always got the same critiques. Your videos are too long. If you want to be popular on YouTube, you need to have videos that are short, two to three minutes. Well, my videos, if you noticed, on the Adam the Woo channel and the Daily Woo channel are starting to progress this way. My videos are anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 minutes long. So I kind of broke the mold when it came to YouTube, not success. When you think of YouTube success, you think of these big YouTubers that have millions of subscribers. I have a near 100,000, which is still amazing to have that many. But when it, the grand scheme of things, 100,000, what is that compared to some of these other big YouTubers? So I don't want to use the word YouTube success. But I guess today, today I could say is a successful day because 100,000 is no joke. So a lot of naysayers in the beginning, and still a lot of naysayers to this day, a lot of people would say, what happens if YouTube ends? What if there is no YouTube anymore? What's going to happen when people lose interest in what you're doing? And that might happen. Maybe people will lose interest. Maybe people will dwindle away and there will no be no more out of the woo adventure videos. Even though I keep making them, you never know. People might lose interest in me and what I'm doing. But I always had this thought in my mind from the beginning. My thought was, there's interesting things in the world. There's interesting things that I'm doing that I'm interested in. I'm just waiting for the rest of the world, you, to enjoy that as well. And I'm happy to say that if you're watching this, you have joined me. Shall you? Really incredible. Looking back, it's, a, it's interesting to think, the first road trip I did, I started doing the videos in Orlando. I was working a job. I knew with a little bit of the interest that actually people were developing in what I was doing, I hit about 100 subscribers. I hit two or three, 400 subscribers, which is still amazing when you think about it. 300 people would be interested. In my mind, I thought, I need to step this up a notch. I need to quit my job. I need to sell my stuff. I've already pretty much extinguished everything that I could think of in the Orlando area. I need to travel. There was things I wanted to see, things I wanted to do. So I sold all the stuff in my apartment. It was about a three or four month process selling everything. Paid my van off, no more debt. Saved a little bit of money, very, very little money. Continued working for a little bit more. Van was paid off. Then I hit the road. November 2011. Actually, it was about a week before Halloween. So it was the very end, October 25th, 26th, 2011. I went out on the road with my friend Ginger. She had food stamps. I had no money. We had no gas. We were traveling around. And basically, I just asked people to help me out. That was when I was the Fuel the Woo began. I put a PayPal link up on my website. And I can remember back, we did this five-week trip in November 2011. Traveled around, went to Six Flags, New Orleans, went up through Mississippi, went to Memphis, went over to Tennessee, did Ghost Town in the Sky, did the Land of Oz, all these videos you probably know. They've kind of become some of my bigger videos. And that road trip jump-started me. I had 1,000 subscribers when I left on that road trip. And that I really do think that road trip really propelled people's interest in me and brought people to my channel and really kind of jump-started the whole thing at the end of 2011. So it's been three years. People always ask, how long have you been making videos? I have been making videos for about four and a half, five years, but really, I think my adventure YouTube career really has been about three years. So let's say it's about a three-year anniversary, even though, gosh, it was about four years, four and a half years ago, I did my first video out here. So I started traveling, end of 2011. And I was texting my buddy Justin Scard from Live Fast, Die Poor, who... I kind of twisted his arm a little bit. I am not the sole reason his channel has blossomed into what it is. But I like to think I helped him 
kind of jumpstart his YouTube career. And I told him, just, just let's just do this. I'm doing it. You do it. So I was texting with Justin Scard last night, who texted me last night. As soon as I hit 100,000 subscribers, he texted me and said, congratulations, sent me a lot of very positive, heartfelt texts back and forth for a little while. I lost, I've actually lost my train of thought. <laughs> what was I saying? Texting with him, I, all I could think about is this 100,000 subscribers. So it's good to have friends who text you positive things. I don't know what I was saying about Justin Scard. It doesn't matter. Because the fact of the matter is that you guys are also very supportive and I really appreciate the support that you guys give me. What was I saying? Texting Justin, because when I started doing the videos, he was one of the ones who actually was very supportive, saying, this is awesome, I love your videos, I wanna be in your videos. And then finally I said, just make your own videos. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do. Just make your own videos. If you have something, like I was saying, with the pencil and the number two piece of paper, do what you want, whether it's doing a video, whether it's creating something, whether it's doing music. I was in a band for a long time. I always struggled to get anyone to listen to the band, to come out to shows, to make flyers. It was like pulling teeth to get anyone interested. And we had a very decent fan base, a lot of support, but it was very difficult to get people outside of that circle interested. So when the YouTube thing started, it really was something that I could latch on to. I remember what I was going to say now. Me and Justin were texting last night, and I texted him back, and I go, it's very interesting, man, to like think about the November 2011 trip that I was on. I only had 1,000 subscribers, which is still amazing, but in the grand scheme of things compared to 100,000, it was just the beginning. So I was just at the start of this YouTube thing. A thousand subscribers, only getting a few views on the videos. Here I am sleeping in a Walmart parking lot in the middle of Mississippi, 19, 20 degrees in a zero degree sleeping bag, no money, just some food stamps that my friend Ginger had that we could eat, putting food in a cooler, some waters, and some tuna fish and some bread visiting these locations that no one had really been to or no one had really documented. And I didn't know if people were going to be interested. I can remember laying there in these parking lots, Walmart parking lot with the security wrapping on the door, knocking on, not wrapping like a rapper would do, like Vanilla Ice style, if he's considered a rapper, but knocking on the door telling, you can't park here, we have to go to another place. No money, no gas, waiting for that next donation of $20 to trickle in. It's amazing to see how far it has come. And it brings it brings a little tear to my eye, I'm not gonna lie. It brings a little tear to my eye to think back to those days when very few people were interested. And the cool thing is the people that were interested then, the few people who helped me out then are still watching the videos and still an integral part of this Adam the Woo thing, this daily woo, whatever it is. And I, a special thanks, special shout out to all you guys. There's a handful of five or ten of you guys who've been here since the beginning. And I really appreciate all the help that you guys have given me. And that's about it. I don't really know what else to say. 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm just going to sit here and bask in this little bit of a glory for today. It all started right here at the sugar mill. This really means a lot to me, guys. I really, I really mean that. 100,000 people, an organic growth. I didn't knock on your door. I didn't send you a pamphlet in the mail. I didn't meet you up at a mall and tell you, hey, I do these videos. You stumbled upon my stuff and you liked it enough to subscribe. And that, from the bottom of my heart, that means the absolute world to me. My life has changed dramatically in the last three years. And this is only the beginning. This is only the start. Trust me. There's a lot of plans post Christmas and into next year and the following years. This has only just begun, just like the song says. I can't remember who sang that song. It does not matter. 
we've only just begun. And when I say we, because you are a part of this. It's not just me. Yes, I put videos out because I like looking back on it as a diary. But not only with the donations and the purchasing the t-shirts, all that stuff, the fueling, the woo, if you will, you also fuel me by leaving comments, sending me emails, posting things on Facebook. And when I meet you in person, the things that you say, the inspiration, there's a lot of people who have followed me for a long time, a lot of people that I've met. And there are a lot of people who can't go out and do what I do. So I feel like I have a responsibility to go out and show people stuff, show people things, basic things that most people forget. Most people are stuck. Hey, I'm watching TV. I'm going out shopping. I'm going to work. That's my day. And I think, honestly, it's my responsibility now at this point to continue on, continue showing people the wonderful things of the world. It's very, it's saddening because there are people who I have met in the past who were very supportive of me and very helpful in my travels. And some of those people have actually passed on and passed away. And it's very, it's a very sad thing, but at the same time, those people made it very evidently clear that I made a difference in their life, entertainment-wise, and maybe even a little bit farther than entertainment. Entertainment can only go so far, but when you get to the point of a personal level, a heart-to-heart, -heart, a kinship, if you will, I've always said that I do not like the word fans. You will never, hear, never ever hear me say, I have 100,000 fans. I do not agree with that mentality. You are my friends vicariously or my extended family. Granted, there's a fine line there between all those things. But I just don't think it's right for YouTubers in general to call people that watch them fans. If you want to call yourself that, that's awesome. But I will never refer to you as that. I love meeting people. I love replying to people. There are some haters. I've definitely had a lot of haters. There were some times when I thought maybe I shouldn't be doing this. The hate, the hate is very strong in this one. And there was a point when I actually considered not doing it because of the amount of haters, some of the threats that I got from some people. It's very interesting how people, they just hate. But it's reached the point now, no matter what the amount of haters are, a hundred thousand strong. We are a hundred thousand strong on the Adam the Woo channel. Twenty thousand strong on this Daily Woo channel. You have given me two of the greatest Christmas presents at the end of 2014 that I could ever ask for. And here's to the new year coming up soon. Christmas and then New Year's. I will not let you down. I have a lot of adventure videos in mind that I will be presenting to you I'm glad I didn't cry during this because that would have been awkward. I love you guys.